Okay, this is my second example of uh, factoring higher order polynomials. Uh, I did the, uh, an example in the last tutorial and didn't really have enough space on here. So I just restarted here. So again, we're going to use the same method we used last time. The factors of x are going to be, or the x factor of the binomials are going to be factors of 6. So what are all the factors of 6? Well, 1 and 6, 2 and 3. So that means you can have 1x, a 2x, a 3x, or a 6x. That's a lot of factors on that one. Of course, over here, the factors of the numbers can only be 1 and 2. So we can make a list of factors that are possible, starting with the 1x and then going to here. So you can have x minus 1 and x plus 1. We can have x minus 2 and x plus 2. That covers all those factors for that one. So let's go to the 6 now. 6x minus 1, 6x plus 1. 6x minus 2, 6x plus 2. Okay. If we, uh, we'll probably find, because this is a common factor here, that there'll be a repeat in here somewhere. But let's continue on and do all our x. 2x minus 1, 2x plus 2 one. 2x minus 2, 2x plus 2. And then 3x minus 1, 3x plus 1, 3x minus 2, 3x plus 2. Okay, so let's take a look here and decipher for ourselves some the ones that are repeats. If I take a common factor of 2 out here, I get 3x minus 1, which we have up there. So I can do that. Take a common factor out here, I get x minus 1. So, And I think those are all the repeats. So you see we have a possibility of a total of 12 different factors that we can test here. And where we, that's where we start. So let's go with our synthetic division. Okay, so I've got 6, 11, 3, and 2, minus here, minus there, making sure I'm okay with that. Okay, and I'm going to start by choosing, in this case, <clears throat> I'm going to use uh, x plus 2. So x plus 2. Okay, so that means x is equal to negative if I make that equal to 0, this would be 2. Negative 2 goes here. So 6, bring it down, negative 12. Negative 1. By adding these two together, then this would be negative 2 times negative 1 is 2. Add these two together to get negative 1. Multiply those two together to get 2. And this gives us our 0, a remainder of 0. So therefore, we know that x plus 2 is a factor. And we know that the other factor is 6x squared minus x minus 1. And we could use some synthetic division here, but if we choose to do decomposition from uh, grade, e, <coughs> grade 10 math, I believe math 20 you've done some decomposition, we can do that as well if we want to. Uh, it's either way. I'm going to use decomposition this time because last time I kept on going with synthetic division. So by decomposition, we need, we need to multiply the, these two together and we get negative 6. So we need to break this, this x, this negative 1x into negative, uh, into factors that would have negative 6x. So the factors of 6 again are 1 and 6 and 2 and 3. So we have to use the two factors that would give us a negative 1 in here. And that would be a negative 3 and a positive 2. So if we break that and put that, these two factors in place of the negative x, we will then be able to use the decomposition method. So let's do that. So 6x squared, and let's put in negative 3x and the positive 2x minus 1. So we can see now that we, if we group these two, we can take a common factor of 3x out. So that would give us 2x minus 1. 
And here we have that already, so let's just put a positive 1 here. So then our two factors become x minus 1 times 3x plus 1. So then if we know that, we now know, and let me check my field of view to make sure I'm still in there. We now know our three possible factors here uh, for this question. So our factors are x plus 3, or sorry, x plus 2 times 2x minus 1 times 3x plus 1. Those are the three factors that are going to be there. And if we wanted to, we could check through this if we have time on this tutorial. Last time I never did a check, but if we do a manual check to see if we can come up with this here. So let's multiply the first two ones out. So that would be FOIL method here. So that would be 2x squared minus x. And then go here, plus 4x minus 2. Keep that one there. And let's let's combine these two to make it a little simpler. I'm just expanding it out here to check. Let me move that up so we can see it better. Okay, and now just do multiplying each of these factors out. So 3x times 2x squared is 6x cubed. Good sign there. 3x times 3x is plus 9x squared. 3x times negative 2x is negative 6x. Now go to the 1. This would be positive 2x squared plus 3x minus 2. Combining our like terms, we have 6x cubed. And we have positive 11x squared. And we have negative 3x minus 2. And that's what we started with. So our check works. So in our case, we are now done. Okay, in our next section, we'll be actually looking at reducing of radical expressions in 4.4. So we'll be getting into uh, factoring and then reducing.